And today, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. I get a lot of questions about my hair and how I do my hair. And I thought it would be a great idea to do a video showing the full process. So this is going to be over the course of a week about starting from the initial wet set all the way to the very last day of the set, however long I can get that to go, which is usually about four or five days. So before we get started, here's the setup for this process. You want to wash your hair twice at the beginning of the week, so Sunday night, let's say. You're gonna wash your hair twice until it squeaks. That's a direct quote from a 1950s hairdressing manual. You see that in magazines of the time as well, is wash your hair twice until it squeaks. If you can't get your hair to squeak, that's okay. Just wash it twice, condition it once at the end of that. Before we get started, I'm going to show you a few tools that you're going to need to do these operations. Bobby pins, a variety of combs and brushes, a rat tail comb that is also a teasing comb, a regular brush, and a board bristle round brush. Not a body. This stuff is amazing. This is concentrated, so you're going to mix about a quarter of this to three quarters parts water. I also recommend pomade. This is a very lightweight Pomade. This is actually 18th century pomade that we've made using American Duchess Guide to 18th Century Beauty. You can make your own or you can buy this type of pomade from Little Bits Clothing Company, LBCC Apothecary Online. You can also use coconut oil, coconut uh, fats based pomade, but the real key here is you want something lightweight that soaks into the hair and doesn't make it greasy. I do not recommend glycerin based really really slick pomades for doing lightweight fluffy pin curls because they tend to weigh the hair down. So this stuff, and a little bit of this goes a long way, this stuff is amazing for defuzzing your pin curls. Possibly one of your most important tools, these are all important, but this is really important, is a headscarf. This is a yard square, so 36 inches square, Burnley and Trowbridge uh, neckerchief or headscarf. I folded it into a triangle here, and this is what I use to cover my pin curls when I sleep on them at night. Different types of clips. This is a basic alligator clip. This is a this is a wave clip. It's a vintage wave clip, but you can buy still buy these at Sally Beauty Supply. They're a little bit shorter, but they're pretty much exactly the same. And the last tool that I recommend is dry shampoo. This is Aveda Shampure, and it has a cool little puff applicator here that makes it easy to put on. Here's the key to this. It's cornstarch, guys. Just like 18th century hair powder. So if you have the American Duchess Guide to 18th Century Beauty, there's a recipe in there. You can make your own, you can buy hair powder from LBCC Apothecary as well, or you can get any number of dry shampoos from the store. Just make sure that what you're getting is actually starch and not chemicals, because starch works the best by far. You ought to have the right haircut. Now don't freak out, I know a lot of you have heard about the midi haircut or you know specific ways of cutting the hair to make it work for pin curls, but it's not that complicated. The haircut that I recommend is a bob, just a basic plain old bob. Most notably, if you want a 1920s or 30s hairstyle, your bob is going to be A-line, so you're going to be shorter in the back and then longer in the front. If you want a 40s haircut, just do that in reverse. You want it shorter here and longer in the back. This is the midi haircut, and that means you're gonna get that really nice sort of sweeping back look that you see in the 40s. Okay, now to get into the curling. You can start with dry hair, but you're gonna to wanna to dampen it with your spray bottle. And I have parted it somewhere over here. It doesn't really matter where you part it, Somewhere on the side is a good idea. I don't recommend parting in the center because that will create kind of a difficult break. Um, <laughs> when you go to brush it out, your hair is gonna wanna go either way. So part it somewhere on the side. The first time that you do this, it does take practice. You're definitely gonna wanna use mirror and it's gonna take you a really long time. But as you practice and as you do this over and over and over again, you're gonna be able to do this in light eight to ten minutes in front of the TV without a mirror and so I'm working without a mirror now and I'm just gonna go for it. So I 
sprayed my hair. I'm gonna grab a little section of it. I'm not really paying any attention to, you know, the shape of the base of this. I don't really care that much. I am paying attention. I've had bangs cut in and th those are actually problematic. I don't really recommend doing that. So if I have hair of different lengths, then I'm gonna kinda wanna piece that out to where the hair is mostly the same length on the ends here. Otherwise it gets, it wants to like, do weird things when you try and curl it. So my hair is moist. I'm going to grab that, pull it straight up, bring it home, and I'm just going to wrap it around my finger until I can sort of pinch the ends there. I might try this again. I want to be able to pinch the ends so that they don't spray out, and then I'm just going to twist it up, grab it, slide it off my finger, and then roll it up to my scalp. Grab my bobby pin, pin it in place. Do that again. I'm just gonna grab a bit of hair. Not too much. That's kind of a lot, but that's okay. Give it a spritz. Comb it out. About halfway to three quarters of the way down. Stick my finger there. Roll it around my finger. Do this as many times as you need. And then I'm gonna twist and go up to my scalp. Slide my finger out. Oop. Grab that curl. Pin it in place. Now I don't really care what direction my pin curls go in. I'm gonna curl these all the same direction with my right hand all the way around my head. However, that kind of works out. There are lots of hairstyling manuals and how-tos and set uh, illustrations that show pin curl the top in one direction and pin curl the next layer down in the next direction. And I just find that to be a total pain in the ass. And not necessary, at least for me, because in my hair type, because curls can flip direction when you comb them out. So I will do the left side of my head first, then I'll do the right side, and then I'll do the back. I can curl my hair the same way every single time. You can do a lot of different things once this is dry. You can tease it and do victory rolls, you can brush it in different directions, you can do soft waves, you can do more sculptural waves, but it always starts with pretty much the same in curl set. This is folded into a triangle. I'm going to put the long edge at the back of my neck and covering the back pin curls. Got my, my ends here and the tail of the triangle there. I'm going to fold my ends up, tie them. This needs to be tight enough to stay on, but not so tight that it's going to cause a headache. I'm going to fold my little tail forward. Tuck in the sides, pull this over, hold that in place, and then tie a bow, just like you do on your shoes. If I've got any long tails, I can tuck those into the sides. And now I'm going to pin this on each side and two in the back. And now we leave that on until they're dry. Good morning. I am now back the next day with my dry pin curl set. It is very, very important that your hair is absolutely dry before you unroll it from the pin curls. Wet or damp, moist hair of any kind is like death to your set. So you can feel if the hair is damp, it'll feel kind of cool. And if it is, pull out your hair dryer with the diffuse uh, attachment, stick it over, and then dry it for a little bit. Or if you have a hood dryer, you can use that too. And now I'm going to take 
my curls out. I've got my curls and I'm just going to get in there with my fingers and kind of shake them out. You can grab them one at a time and sort of pull on them. This is the point at which most people kind of freak out because they think, oh my god, look, I look at like horrible clown hair. Ah! But this is what it's going to look like when you take it out. So I just give it a nice little shake and then I'm going to get my brush and I'm just going to start brushing. I start mostly with the ends and I'll just sort of start to brush it all together. Now if your hair is crunchy crispy and this is a really difficult operation to do the brush out, you're probably using too much lot of body mixed in with your water. If your hair is sort of limp and it's not holding the curl, you're probably not using enough lot of body. There we are. Now there's no shaping or anything in this right now and it's really fuzzy and, and sort of frizzy and we don't want that. So this is where the pomade is going to come in. You can see I've got just a little bit of this on my fingers. I'm going to rub this with my left hand into my left hand, mostly into the palm if you can. So I just go through and brush this and I just work the pomade in. Again, a little bit of this goes a long way. You want it to get mostly on the ends and through the middle and the ends. Okay, just really work it in there. And you can see already that my curls are much, much less frizzy. Just gonna do a bit more brushing. This is with my bristle brush. This will help the hair again stick together and give it that soft bouncy look that we love. So I can see the way that my hair is already waving. So I'm gonna take my comb. I've got a wave going backwards and I'm gonna just stick it in there and I'm gonna pull that back. I'm gonna pull this forward and I'm gonna pin it. I'm actually gonna clamp this one. So I'm gonna take my wave clamp and I'm gonna put it on the top of this wave, just like that. Okay, I've got that wave going forward. I'm gonna put my finger there. I'm gonna comb this back a bit. I'm gonna take my alligator clip I'm going to just stick it in there to hold that. I'm still holding it with my finger. This takes practice, guys. So don't be alarmed if you can't get it to work quite at the beginning. And I'm going to put another alligator clip there. On the other side, I have sort of a baldy spot here. So I'm actually just going to comb this forward to cover that. Because vanity. Oop. And you see this ridge there that's formed? That's when I'm going to put, oop, I'm doing this left-handed, but that's when I'm going to put this wave clip on, just like that. Then I'm going to get in here, hold that down right there, oops, with my finger, and then comb it backwards and then forwards. I'm pinned in place. Now it's time for hairspray. I like this stuff. It's Bedhead by Digi, 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 I don't know, Bedhead, Hardhead. And I'm just going to give this a nice spritz. <laughs> Once your hairspray is set, which should only take a few seconds, you're going to take your clips out. When you do this, be very careful not to grab your hair at the same time, which is an easy thing to do. All right. Now, one thing of note is that the first day of a set is always sort of the frizziest, fluffiest day. I actually like the second day of the set better, but we're going to come back to that tomorrow. It is the end of the first day of my set. Tonight, I'm going to re-roll my hair, but I'm not going to get it wet. I'm just going to brush it out and then roll it up dry, just as if I were doing it wet. And your hair already has curl in it. So it's actually a lot easier to get this to curl around your finger. 
it already wants to do it. And so I just grab a chunk, make sure it's not too big, re-roll it, bobby pin it. It doesn't matter if the chunk I grab is the same chunk that I had last night. I'm just sectioning out the hair, just however, it doesn't matter. And then I'm re-rolling it completely dry. For the sake of this video, we're going to pretend that I've already had my shower, taken my makeup off, and don't have any clothes on. Don't forget to put your headscarf on. There we go. See you tomorrow morning. Good morning, and welcome to the second day of my pin curl set. On your hair type and your climate you may feel like by day three your roots are getting a little bit greasy today I think I'll go for a more 1950s style in the 1950s short hair like this was still all the rage, but there was a lot more volume on the top than you see in the 1920s and the 1930s. So we're going to achieve that with the power of the teasing comb and hairspray. Also smoothing by running my comb lightly over the tees so that it's not too frazzly. I'm gonna make sure my ends are not too tangled up. Now my hair doesn't hold tees all that well, so I'm going to rely on the power of hairspray and physics. We're kind of defying physics here, aren't we? <laughs> okay. Let's kind of get this in here. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to pin this in place. I have a cute little bow, but you can use bobby pins. Hold my cute little bow. page boy look was really popular. So to do the page boy look, I'm just going to use my same set, but I'm going to roll the hair under with my brush instead of up. Not up. I've ever actually gone out the door with a wave clip still in my hair? Probably. Here we are on day four of my set. Today for something different, I think 
I don't really feel like being all that sculptural. I think I feel like being fluffy. And so I'm just gonna shake my hair up and let it kind of do what it's gonna do. I mean, that's it's a bit wild. Maybe it's a bit 80s. Maybe I kind of like that kind of thing. I might guide it a bit with a part, just with my finger. It's just gonna kind of scrunch it up and let it be how it's gonna be. A bit of hairspray, not too much. No crispy hair here. Okay. Now I have kind of big fluffy hair for day four. Day five. Let's go. Nice. Combs. These are super useful for the 1940s. slept on this last night, uh, which means my curls are basically completely gone. I'm just gonna put this up in a headscarf. And that is the end of our pin curl diary. That was an entire week, six days of rolling my hair up wet initially and then re-rolling it dry every night until the sixth day when I just wore a headscarf because I couldn't be bothered anymore. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something and that it helps you in your pin curl journey, in your vintage hair journey. If you liked this, please hit the subscribe button. You can also find American Duchess on Instagram, on Facebook, AmericanDuchess.com for shoes and sewing patterns and other cool stuff. And you can also find us on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.